Um, yeah, I'm doing really good. I'm in remission now. We've got it pretty much under control for now. So we're just kind of like, I guess just like keeping it consistent, trying to stay consistent with everything, not changing any times and I'm taking my meds and just like, I don't know, we're just sort of trying to go slow, I guess. Well, the fact that she's back competing and appears to be getting better every day health-wise is enough to make fans happy. After all, it came as a shock when Sunisa Lee announced last year that she would be ending her collegiate artistic gymnastics career due to health issues related to her kidneys. As you most probably know, Suni has captivated gymnastics fans worldwide since her remarkable performance at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. It's Suni Lee who's in the top spot. She is going to win the Olympic all-around gold medal. It's an 18-year-old from St. Paul, Minnesota who joins that exclusive list of champions. Having started young with a boundless passion for the sport, it's no wonder that she's now at the top of her career. She started her gymnastics journey at her home in St. Paul, Minnesota, USA. As a lively child, she was always moving and tumbling around, which led her father to build a wooden balance beam in the backyard to help her focus her energy. At six, she began her formal gymnastics training at Midwest Gymnastics Center in Little Canada, Minnesota. As a child, her daily routine was marked by unwavering dedication as she would spend 8 to 12 hours in gymnastics training or schoolwork. Despite the relatively late start in the discipline, she stood out in the USA Gymnastics Women's Development Program. When she turned 7, she triumphed in an all-around competition at a state meet for only her second ever competition. The following year, she advanced through three different age group levels. At 11, she qualified for the elite program, which made her eligible to represent the United States in international competitions. She earned a spot on the U.S. junior national team at 14, and her career continued to soar from there. She debuted on the international senior stage at the 2019 City of Yoloso Trophy in Italy, where she won the all-around title and helped the USA team win gold. She collected a full set of medals at the FIG World Championships the same year. Gold in the team event, silver on the floor, and bronze on the uneven bars. Then, during the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, her prowess shone brightly as a key member of the American gymnastics team alongside fellow star Simone Biles. Lee made history as the first Asian American woman to win the gold medal in the women's all-around event. She also won a bronze medal on the uneven bars and a silver medal in the team event. After dazzling the world in Japan, she embraced collegiate gymnastics and pursued her studies at Auburn University. Her time with the Auburn Tigers team proved successful, with Lee earning titles as the NCAA Beam Champion and the SEC Uneven Bars Champion. Everything was going great until February 2023 when she woke up with swollen ankles. At first, she brushed it off as a consequence of intense training, but concerns grew as the swelling persisted, reaching her face, legs, and hands. I just kept getting more swollen and I think I gained like 40 pounds, she shared later. The issue was traced to a non-gymnastics health-related problem involving her kidneys, which prompted her doctors to advise against training and competing. By April, she had no choice but to cut short her NCAA career at Auburn University and sit out Team USA's World Championships and Pan Am Games Selection Camp due to the said health issues. She admitted that she grappled with her emotions in the past year, which left her rotting in bed. Along with the burden of her physical illness, she also faced mental hurdles at the time, feeling lonely and depressed at times. Suni has spent most of the last year struggling with her kidney disease, which is incurable. During that time, I was honestly not doing a lot of anything good for me. I was just kind of rotting in my bed and hoping that it would all go away, she admitted. It turns out her coach was part of the reason why she got back out of her slump. Eventually, she was completely out of her slump and was well enough to compete again at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships in San Jose in August. There, Lee showed up to compete against Simone Biles. It was something fans looked forward to since it was the first time the two Olympic all-around gold medalists were in the same domestic competition. When September came, however, she declined the invitation to attend the U.S. team selection camp for the World Championships. Just so you know, that does not mean she's given up. 
In fact, she is still hoping to recover in time to compete in Paris. An impressive feat considering her health issues almost ended her career prematurely. Although Suni has since returned to top-level gymnastics competing in the U.S. Classic and U.S. Championships, the condition has not fully gone away. The 21-year-old says she continues to manage it with a modified, low-sodium diet. In a previous interview, she admitted, It's really difficult to kind of work through, but on the days that I can do stuff and I'm feeling good, I try and take advantage of that and just get everything done. Her long-term goal is still to make it to Paris 2024 to defend her Olympic gold medal. To do so, she'll need to compete in June at the U.S. Olympic Trials in her home state of Minnesota. Still, I'm not trying to think too far ahead because that can just add a lot of unwanted pressure and stress, she shared. I mean, it's nerve-wracking, of course, but that's the reason why I love gymnastics, I love competing because I love the nerves, I love putting the pressure on myself and just making myself better every day. Needless to say, navigating through health challenges and fueled by her aspiration to defend her Olympic gold medal in Paris 2024, she faces a pivotal juncture. However, her resolve remains unwavering in prioritizing well-being. On that note, she has learned to set smaller, more achievable goals for herself instead of focusing solely on the Olympics. She disclosed her immediate aim to excel at the Winter Cup and, optimistically, secure a place in the Baku World Cup where she intends to introduce a new skill to the sports code of points. I honestly haven't been really thinking about the Olympics. I feel like my biggest goal right now is to get this skill named in Baku. That's just been the only thing on my mind, she noted. I'm not trying to think about the Olympics and everything after rats because you never know what can happen, so I'm just uh, kind of worrying about what comes next. In order to achieve her near-term goal, she has once again found a consistent rhythm to her training. I've been back in the gym every single day, eight hours a day, and it's been going pretty well, Lee shared in an exclusive interview. In fact, in early January, she stunned fans by sharing a new training skill on her Instagram account. She posted multiple videos of her executing the new technique perfectly on the bar. According to a YouTube video posted by Artistic Gymnastics, the aforementioned skill is a 360-degree version of the stretched Jaeger, which is currently known as the Capuchiti, named after Stephanie Capuchiti, the Canadian gymnast who first landed that skill. NBC Olympics and Paralympics 2 shared this skill performed by Lee on their Facebook page and wrote, This is called the Full Twisting Jaeger. If Suni Lee successfully performs this skill in a major international competition, it would be renamed the Lee. As you may have guessed, Lee is also working towards naming a skill after her. The full twisting layout Jaeger on the uneven bars, the Lee, which she has been perfecting for two years now, will finally have a home. I'm just excited because I think it'll be pretty cool having the skill being named, she said. According to Lee's longtime coach, Jess Graba, the young athlete's training schedule depended on how she was reacting that day to the medication she was taking. She's training pretty good when we can train, Graba said. For her part, Suni has a lot of things propelling her forward. Knowing all the things that I went through at the time and how I got through all of that kind of motivated me to get through that and also having my coaches and just like friends supporting me always and uplifting me because I wasn't in the greatest mindset. Man, now I'm like way better. I'm like in happy spirits. I'm like just so happy to be here. Whether she's better enough to compete in Paris, we'll have to see. For now, watch this to see who else we are expecting to see there.